welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. And I also love doing some makeup and a little, I don't know, dressing up, whatever this is. We're doing a, we're doing a whole mushroom haul from Hot Topic over the past like, I don't know, maybe two, three months, I've gotten quite a few fun little mushroom, either outfits or accessories. And so I really wanted to do a haul and show you guys everything. I don't know, initially was just going with the blue eyeshadow with the green. I was like, oh, this is fun. And then I added on the blush and the dots thinking, oh, maybe I'll do a mushroom look. Gyps <laughs> Gypsy says hello. But yeah, then I did the dots and the like blush to do like a mushroom look. And then I was like, I just look sunburned with white freckles. So I added like those swirls and my little ears. So it's like a whole fairy elf woodland creature vibe. I got all my like little things, my <laughs> willow stick. I feel like I'm just like that creature in the woods, the like little forest nymph that like collects little pieces of of trees and plants and like they're her trinkets that she just wears and puts on her so it's a whole vibe and I'm totally here for it. Let's just go ahead and get into the haul. So the first thing I'll show you I guess is this shirt I'm wearing. This is a tank top. I'm going to scoot over so that here I will put the pictures from the website so you can see what it looks like. I would do a try on of every single thing but I just don't really have the energy today. <laughs> so I'll show you a picture of what it looks like on some models. I have tried everything on, everything fits really well. I will also make sure and link every single item down in the description below. I think everyone, everything should still be available. But yeah, definitely check the links down in the description if you're curious about any of these items. Oh, and nothing, no, this is not sponsored at all. It's just me loving mushrooms and all things cute and whimsical. So I paid for this all myself. <laughs> But yeah, so the first thing I got is this really fun tank top and it's got mushrooms all over it. This is a unisex shirt, I believe. I think it's listed in men's sizes. Um, I think I got a medium, I believe, and I normally wear a women's like large, extra large, depending on what the company is. I really like this. Today's actually the first day I'm wearing this. Um, I find it really comfortable. It does have pretty long arm holes. I believe it's more men's sizes than women's because it doesn't really account for the ladies um, as far as the shaping, but I still really like it and I think it's really comfortable and it's super cute. And I love a black and white kind of thing. You don't usually see that a lot with mushrooms. Usually everything's quite colorful or at least has like the red in it. So I think it's fun to see um, just a more black and white kind of situation. Next thing we're gonna go for are these earrings. I actually got these earrings I think last year, so I hope they still have them on the website. Again, I'll try and link it below if they do. But there's these just adorable, like little mushroom earrings. It's cute little mushrooms and little, it's a crystal, but it's just a piece of glass. Um, I think they're really cute, fun, whimsical. They're really nice and light too, so they're super comfortable. Love these. Okay, so we'll get into a couple more like t-shirts and wearable things. First thing, I love this. When I saw this on the website, I was like, I need to have that. It's so freaking adorable. I love this style. And there's this like creature wearing a mushroom hat, <laughs> little boots, and it's like black and white. So it's kind of like tie dye ish, but with this kind of eerie, adorable mushroom on it. This is from the, I think this is Gilda Calamity. I love their styles. They have a little bit of like eeriness to them. And I just think it's so fun and whimsical. And I, I absolutely adore this stuff. So this is. This is really cool and it's again, just like a nice cotton shirt. So it's really comfortable. I look forward to wearing this a lot this summer. All right, next t-shirt I got, it's kind of like a, it has a moth situation, like a death moth and then a whole bunch of mushrooms down below it. I really love it. And obviously like the moon phases are totally a thing I love. So I thought this was really cool. I will say it's really, really comfortable. Again, just like the other one, it is like a nice cotton shirt, super light. This is good um, for layering. Honestly, I got it. Uh, especially for like camping. I tend to wear like a flannel and like a t-shirt or something. So that way if it's you're hiking and it gets kind of cool in the woods, you have the flannel and when you're out of the woods and it's really warm, you have just the t-shirt. I really like it though. It's been good for hanging around the house kind of shirt, but it's super cute. I could still like wear it with a pair of leggings and like go to the grocery store and feel somewhat put together. I really like it. This 
next item. I'm so happy I got it. I have a feeling it might be sold out, but maybe they've restocked it. I ended up getting it in a plus size. Um, I tend to wear like, for Hot Topic, especially like their dresses, I tend to wear either an extra large or in the plus sizes I do a zero. It depends on the fit. If it says it's like super fitted and there's no stretch, sometimes I will even do like a size one plus size. I tend to wear, as far as women's dresses, more like a 14 or so. Maybe that gives you an idea. Again, I'm 5'1", so proportions are kind of weird. I got this in a plus size in a size zero because all of the non plus sizes were sold out and I actually don't even know how many other of the plus sizes they had. But anyway, it's this adorable sweater black sweater so here's the picture isn't this so cute and i have to say it is incredibly comfortable like the knit on this is really really nice and soft the embroidery on this side on the sleeve is just so freaking cute no it does not have pockets so a little sad about that because I, I prefer to have pockets in my like cardigans or sweaters it was okay i honestly love the design so much that it was absolutely worth it both sleeves do have the embroidery on it, so it's something to keep in mind. And there have been some reviews where people said like the inside of the embroidery was scratchy. For me, it really wasn't at all. And I'm I'm pretty particular um, when it comes to textures and stuff against my skin. But I know everybody's different, so um, use to your own discretion. But like, here's the inside of the embroidery. So it's pretty well, you can see the embroidery is pretty well finished. It's not like a whole bunch of like any you know weird threads or anything sticking out at least the ones I got so I really like it if it's in stock highly recommend again it's so comfortable I keep cardigans down here even like in the summer well maybe not in the summer but I know at least right now where we're in like we keep wavering between the 40s and 70s and 80s and so like sometimes I'll throw on a cardigan just when I'm hanging out around down here if I have like a t-shirt or tank top plus I just love a cardigan they're just so comfortable and cozy and they're easy for me to get on I'm getting to where I don't wear as many like hoodies and that kind of thing because with my joints it is far too hard to like get things over like lifting my arms up is really really painful so like a cardigan is much easier to get on and off so Love it, especially if you have joint issues like that, your upper extremities. This is a good one. It's easy. And again, it's really, really nice and comfortable. So I think you'll be happy with it. Okay, we have a couple little accessories. Oh, I do want to show. This is not Hot Topic. This is actually from Emin Sprout. I um, got one of her mystery boxes she did. There were some really cute items in it, by the way. Um, and this was one of the items. So it's like a little pin you can wear. So definitely check that out on her website. Um, I should have put it in my hair, but I didn't because I wanted to make sure I could show you guys. But I think it's cool. I like the material on it. It's almost resin kind of material or lucite. I'm not really sure what that's considered, but I like it. I think this is cute. I will be say I'm a little concerned. The clip looks like I'm afraid this is going to like really grab my hair. I have pretty thin and kind of fragile hair especially with my meds make my hair thin out pretty bit or a lot i get a little nervous when it comes to certain clips but maybe if i wear a headband and then they clip it onto the headband we'll see um but i thought this was cute i just want to share this with you guys i got one thing i got this is actually a patch and i have like a black jean jacket i thought about putting this on i'm not quite sure so i have a couple other things i'll show you that I think I'm gonna put on my jean jacket. Maybe it'll make me wear it more. I like it, but I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's a little plain, but I feel like if I start putting stuff on it that's very me, that I'll wanna wear it a lot. But I got this patch that is <laughs> these ghosts and the mushrooms. This is just so adorable. Um, and it is, I don't know why it's like smooth on the back. Is that on purpose. I don't think that's meant to be iron on. I assume you have to stitch this on. I know in high school when I would have patches on my backpack, I would just literally take safety pins and attach them around there. So um, we'll see what I end up doing. But I just thought this was design was really, really cute. Ghosts even have like little rosy cheeks. Do you guys see this? A little basket, like just the cutest details. Love, love, love this. And two things I got are actually like the little mystery pin things. Um, I got one thing from Gilda Calamity. The other is, I don't know, it's these mushrooms. So you can, it's a little, one of these mushrooms will be in here. So I'm really excited. I kind of, and they're all, they're all eating food. I think that's why I got it. Cause like there's one you see in the middle 
eating noodles and then there's like an ice cream and <laughs> pizza and all these different things. And I'm like, a mushroom eating food? Hello? So let's open, let's see what we got. The front of the package says shroomy snacks. So I guess they're shroomy snacks by whatever company. It's an interesting name. Oh, we got the cute one eating like little jam toast. Look at it. These are so precious. Oh my gosh, I kind of do want to collect them all. <laughs> you know, that's, oh, it's, and it feels really nice too. Like it is nice, like it's not just printed on there. These, all the different uh, layers are erased. You can tell it's like a nice, I don't know, it's a nice pin. I like the backing of it too. It's a nice thick rubbery material. The other one I got is from Guild of Calamity because again, I love all of their stuff and oh my gosh. I was so tempted, I'll say, I was so tempted to get several of these because I kind of kind of really want all six of them. But look at the designs on these. They have a little rainbow one and there's a cat one. There's like a morel mushroom and like this one with antlers and this spooky one and I'm gonna be happy with all of them. I kind of want the cat one, but I also kind of want the rainbow one. Oh my gosh, these are, I, I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love a good mystery thing. <gasps> we got the rainbow one. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yes, little pride mushroom pin. This is so happy. This is truly so happy. Okay, and so the last thing I got from this is like, my piece de resistance. I didn't think about my hairstyle today for this. It is mushroom witch hat. And a little point, there's a little mushroom hanging down from it. It's so cute. I love this frilly. It's kind of like, almost like the kawaii style with the ribbons and whatnot, the lacy bits. I will say the only thing I don't like is I wish this underside was finished. Here, I'll put it on even though I have a bun up. Cause when you put it on, and you have it on, you can still see like the un, not the unfinished, but the underside of it. So it's, I kind of am thinking of maybe, I have some material I'm thinking of maybe like sewing like little gills all the way around to make it look a bit more finished when I'm wearing it. I just love it. When my hair is down, it just fits really well. And it's super comfortable. And again, it's a fun little witch hat. It looks like mushroom. Like it's just like giving me all of my toad dreams that I've wanted since I was a little kid. <laughs> It's so happy, it's so happy. Okay, so that is everything for my mushroom haul from Hot Topic today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, again, I will try my best to link everything that I showed down in the description, so definitely check that out if you're wanting to look for any of these pieces. I think they're all really happy. I've been super happy with the quality of everything as well, so everything's held up, especially the clothes. Some of these shirts I've worn several times already, um, and they wash really well. So just wash them inside out. It helps the print last a little bit longer, but they've held up really well. But thank you guys so much. I really hope you enjoyed this. Again, if you did, please consider subscribing to the channel if you aren't already. Also, make sure you hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I try to do about one video a week. Sometimes I do two videos a week, depending on what all I got for you guys, but definitely one video a week, so you don't want to miss out. Thank you guys again for everything, for all your love and support. I hope you're doing wonderful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you.